Hi everyone, I want to go over today the A major scale. Um, so this would be the easiest scale I think you can play on the violin. This is for class one. And we're going to start on the A string. Our first note would be open A. Every time I say open, that means no fingers. So if you look at my left hand, there's no fingers. It's an open A string. That would be our first note. Okay, you need it. You need to make sure you sound clear, that you don't sound, um, that the other strings, you're not touching or playing the other strings. So this would not be a clear sound. What you need to do there is make sure you're only playing that A string. And it's okay to look at the string and look at the bow and make sure you're only playing that A string. So that would be our first note is A. Then we put one finger on the first tape. So you would put your first finger. First finger is this one, the pointing finger. And that would be on the first tape. The first tape farthest is the tape farthest away from you. Second finger goes on the second tape. Third finger goes on the third tape. Then what you do now is you go to the E string and you play open E. And then you do the same thing you did on the A string, but now we're on the E string. One finger on the first tape. Second finger on the second tape. Third finger on the third tape. So now together, it sounds like this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and A. So there's two A's. There's the first A and the last A, which is the note we just played, the highest note. Those two notes are called A. That would be the A, the A scale, uh, the simplest scale you can play on the violin. Make sure you can play it. Make sure that it sounds nice. And also make sure that you are starting to learn the notes that are in that scale. So if I tell you play F, Play A. If I say play A, your first question should be which A? And I would probably say play both. There's one. There's the other one we just talked about. If I say play C, play D, play F, play E. You should be able to play those notes um, relatively fast so that you're not thinking about it too much. So that involves some studying. You have to study the scale. You can write it down. You can make a little chart like we did, like we do in class, the finger chart. Um, you know what? Or you can just, with your violin, go over those notes forwards and backwards. It'll help if you play them backwards um, and if you say them backwards. So let's go backwards would be A, G, F, E, say the note before you play it is a good idea. D, C, B, A. Now this is a really beginner scale. So for those of you advanced students who are watching, yes, it is C sharp and G sharp, but we're not going to go through over that just yet. And that is the A scale for violin. Make sure you know how to play it and you know the notes.